Hey you guys, today I want to talk to you about one accessory that you might want to have for your router table. This is the Jessam Clear Cut Flex Stock Guides. And I just purchased this one. I was actually looking at their um, rollers for the table saw and I purchased some, but they are coming in about a week and when they arrive, I'll make sure I will share it with you. But uh, when I was looking at that, I saw that they have these ones for the router table and I just tested them this morning. And they are amazing, so I really wanted to share it with you. They are not expensive. I'll put a link in the description below. I bought mine on Amazon. And I'm going to show you exactly how to install them, how they work, and what I've been using until now, and how these ones are better. So let's get right to the right router table, and I'll show you what they look like. So this is what they look like. Um, very simple gadget, but it works so, so well. It has their name in here, Jessam, and then it also will tell you that this is for the infeed roller. It shows you the direction with this yellow arrow and also has an arrow over here. And I'm going to put together this other one. As you can see, the other one, it says it's for the outfit roller and the direction goes that way. So to put it together, all you do, you take this piece of metal and then I'll take this one with the round head, this quarter 20 bolt. And then on the other side, it receives a washer and then this metal knob. So that goes on that side. And then through this other hole, it goes this one. Simple to install. Then a washer and this little handle. So that is pretty much for putting it together. I did the same thing on this one. And then they mount on your router table. Let me move you around, see if I can get you a better view. So I hope you can see that. So the way they go is just these two bolts, they go onto the T-slot of your router table. So because this one says it's the infeed, and when you feed the stock to the router, you go from the right to the left, then the infeed is this one. So I'm just going to slide this one in there. All right, so one is in there. Let's put this other one in here. So it goes like this. There we go. So that is how they are installed. Now I should probably tighten my fence here. And there you go, we install them on our router. Now, how do we set it up and how do we use them? Well, this is the material. I'll pretend I'll be pushing through the router table. So you wanna put the material under your stock. Uh, first thing, you wanna tighten the silver knobs. This will just make sure that the uh, gadget doesn't slide left and right, that it stays where you want it. Let's say I want it right there. So now it's tight, it doesn't move on my table, just this part goes up and down. So now it's time to set this, uh, guys. For that, you put some pressure downwards and just tighten it with the knob. There you go. I'll do the same thing here. Great. Now, these guys are preventing kickback. And if I try to pull back this material, I cannot, even with, it will take a lot of force to pull it back. Um, it only wants to roll one way, and that's what that arrow was. That arrow was telling us that these rollers only roll one way, which is that way, clockwise. So the material can only go that one way, you cannot pull it back. So as you can see, it only rolls that one way. Does not want to go back. Even if I try to push it with my hand, it will not go back. So the other cool thing about this guide is that these rollers, they are on an angle. They are at five degree angle. And what that does is when you push the material through, not only it pushes it downwards um, towards the table, but it also pushes it, pulls it towards the fence. So it's almost like having four feather boards, having two in here and two on the bottom. So these two guides, they make the job for four feather boards. And to show you that, 
Let me see if I can, hold on a second. Now to show you how this roller works, I will push this material and I'm not gonna put it against the fence. I'm gonna put it like a half an inch away from the fence, just enough to like get caught by the rollers. So let's see, something like this. Can you see from there, I am away from the fence. I am no near close. And uh, now I will push the material. And as I push the material, I want you to see how the guides are pushing the material, are pulling it really towards the fence. And now it pushes downwards and towards the fence. And now the wood piece hit the tripod, so I have to move you. So there you go. So as I said before, now these guys are putting force downwards and pushes it through the fence. I'm gonna do it one more time so you can see it. I'm starting about almost a half an inch away. I'm only pushing with one finger. I am not trying to push it against the fence. I'm pushing right in the middle of the board and the board is being pulled towards the fence, making this a more safe and accurate cut. Now, before I had these guys, I was using these roller guides, which are a no name brand. I got them on Amazon. And these guys do a really good job of pushing forts uh, downwards, but these rollers, they spin both ways. So they do not prevent kickback at all. So those are a big improvement from these guys that I already had. And my favorite combination before I got these guys was to use these guys for the fence. And then for on the tabletop, I would use this guys. This is from Harvey's and this one, it's a double stacker as you can see here. So it's a lot taller and this is a single stack. And um, these guys are really, really good. I use them a lot on my bench saw when I do resawing. I use it on my table saw. I've used them on my router table. And these guys do a really, really great job. But uh, the reason why I never showed them to you before is because they're very expensive. This uh, double um, tall one, it's $300. And this one, it's $200. Now, these guys, I purchased them with my own money. They were not sent to me for review or anything like that. But I think that anyone could benefit from having something like this. It can make your router table so much more accurate and safer. So if you're looking into purchasing something like this, I will put a link in the description below. And as I said before, once I get the ones that are meant for the table saw, which is the ones I'm the most excited for, uh, I'll make sure I'll share them with you. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.